Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to talk about a feature which was released by GitHub last year. It's about releases, creating new releases. Before this feature was uh, launched, a lot of developers used to do uh, different ways to actually generate release notes for their releases. And it was difficult, right? I mean, it, it never felt the part of the process and you have to actually go ahead and run some scripts or you have to automate some scripts. GitHub, of course, realized that uh, issue because there are a lot of uh, open source projects which do that, right? I mean, as an open source uh, developers or as an open source maintainer of any project, you have to tell your users that what changed, what is a new feature which is introduced. You have to keep them updated. And if there are any breaking changes, how you will do that? Of course, before uh, this GitHub releases existed, we had issues, right? We issues exist from the day one and we can actually track okay what are the difference between this branch and this branch whatever what are the different features which got merged if there are any breaking changes and we had to include everything github came up with the idea that okay why not to do it from the github itself so i'm going to uh, tell you or i'm going to show you actually how i can do it from the github itself and i'm going to draft or and actually i'm going to draft a release note and i'm also going to publish my new package from the automated process. So here uh, on your repository, you will find something called create a new release. Right now I have already 10 tags and I did it uh, uh, because I have published uh, the previous packages and I have, I used to always do it from uh, manually before actually cre create releases options was available. And uh, I used to add a new tag and the sub. Let me show you this process. So here I can click on create a new pro new release and you can see it says, okay, what do you want? Releases, tags, and you can actually input what tag it would be. So you can actually uh, tag your release with this specific version. And whenever you want to actually download code, you can do that. So my last version was 4.1.2. Is this, uh, this particular release contains one feature. So I'm going to update or upgrade the version. So I'm going to say, okay, this will be version 5.0.0. And I'll say, okay, create a new tag. And I'll say, okay, it says, okay, uh, release title. And I will say uh, the new feature which was introduced here, uh, add feature to publish Netlify function. I can also say version 5.0.0. And then this button, let me just zoom in. So it says that auto generate release notes. Let's click on this auto generate release notes. And you can see it says, okay, what has changed? It gives the link to the pull request and it gives you who are the new contributors and it gives you a link where we can see the complete change log what changed between 4.1.2 and 5.0.0. And you can also mark it as a pre-release. So uh, I, I don't want to do pre-release right now, so I'll skip this. And you can also create a discussion. So in case uh, this release includes some feature you want to have discussion on, or it, re it has some breaking changes, you can also do that. In case you are publishing your binary somewhere else. You can also upload them by, you can see an option to actually drag and drop the binaries. So what I had, I have to do right now is uh, that's it. So this, this is what I needed. So I wanted to include whatever has changed between my last release and the current release. And uh, let's see. So I'll click on publish release. And my 5.0.0 release is created, but let me show you one more thing. So I drafted my new release. I have included who were the contributors and what was what was the source code available? I mean, so with this release, what's the current source code? So because of course you will be keep merging a new feature, new bug fixes into your master branch. And now let me go to the action. Thanks to Vimal, we all we also have a GitHub action available. What this GitHub action does is it will release 
and it will publish the npm package as soon as it finds that okay there is a new release which has been created it will kick in and publish the new version on npm so let's go back to netlify builder and you can see okay uh, this is the new release which i have drafted right now and it says okay this is the latest because this is the first release i am doing it from this particular feature so i drafted my new release and it's also published on npm you can verify here you can see a version is 5.0.0 if you don't believe on this let's go to the npm and see the latest version which is available and it says it's 5.0.0 so this is what we did without any without doing doing any manual thing without even running my code locally i just drafted a new release and thanks to the github action which uh, which which is already written for us it kicked in that okay there is a new release which is created and i have to go ahead and publish this package so let us know how uh, you are planning to use this particular feature if this is useful for you and see you in my next video